spirits eye that we will know the great and wonderful things that you have for us from your word this morning. Glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Extending their greetings to the church. Amen. Somebody also says she is extending great, great greetings to you. So when they were saying that in Amoha, sometimes it makes uh, it's as though we are just saying it, but we are not just saying it. I also believe that God is still here. Yeah. And he's, he's right here right now. Yeah. When we started the extension, I one day it was I think it was Thursday. We did this work and I said, hey, you know what I'm Make sure say with me a year entrance no send a way to be your year fiscally challenged this year we will teach you more no way and if you are ever any difficult for the person to come in. I pray and I said that I think a Wednesday or Thursday and that Sunday a blind lady came to the church. And when I went to her, I wanted to under normal circumstances. When we see blind people and disabled, we think that they need help. So when I was speaking, she could see that I'm, I'm about to show compassion or care. Then she told me that, Pastor, my name is Gloria Evelyn. She mentioned the full name. I am a, a lawyer at the office of Atomic Energy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to tell and to be that uh, look for the other kind of put it in my envelope so that you can see her off. Then she, she told me, Pastor, my daughter, she came with the doctor. My daughter said, she don't have a window. And I said, yes, we are in jail. We are just three uh, years old. That was the address when we were trying to fix the place. So she wrote her name like I've been doing for the first time. I gave her her telephone number. And I called her. My friend. And she said, Oh, thank you for calling. But they are, they are friend. So I waited two, three minutes and I called again. And she said, When did you hear from me? That's what that I said. Yesterday I had a call from her. And she said, Pastor, where are you? I said, I'm going to ask you. Said, Can you meet me at Lego? So okay, I got the courage and I went. Yes, she was. Okay, Master, um, when I came, uh, remember I told you that my daughter says you don't have a window. I said, yes. So, okay, I've been, I've been thinking about what I can do to help. So, uh, this is a check for you, your church. When I open it, $1,000. Oh, yeah. $1, oh, yeah. Let me say, if you want to give me $1,000. But my, my perception changed. 
yesterday. And what I said was that God can do things that beat our life in our imagination. You know what? What we wanted, to, you said we wanted to see this. And there was pledges. But it's not coming. And you see, week after week, the sun is becoming brighter, and as a result, the room is becoming hotter and hotter. Right now, how do you feel the, the room is warm? No, no, no. But when the way to the ground, so, in fact, the check is in my, no, it was in my pocket this morning. Uh, Wednesday, we'll pay you tomorrow, and I'm trusting God by Wednesday to clear. So, we, we know that the first batch of wood, two by two, you better 200 first, but who's this thing? So that's around 12 million. Okay. So all those who have pledged, the map has come. Please, when you close, go to where it at the, uh, the back, they go and redeem it. This one you come, this next Sunday, you have bought all the wood, two by two that we need. We have to buy it, we have to. Uh, put chemicals on the soil to last. Then the following week we will ask, Rabbi Saw, are you there? Yes. Are you ready to help us? Yes. Rabbi is the capital. My God is the capital. We will put them together and they will fix it so that the room will be a little cool. But then the, the, you have to wash the cool environment. And then the question, I said, where? Uh, one, one, two, three, uh, get one. The war, some one, one, 